rappers love dropping racks on cars, but none of them have a collection like Kodak Black. Yak has some seriously crazy rides, and today we're breaking down his insane multi-million dollar collection, Rolls Royce Cullinan. Everyone knows that Rolls Royce is expensive, and Yak flex on everyone when he pulls up in his ice white Cullinan worth around $400,000. The outside looks dope, but the interior is straight up insane. Inside, there's a cooler just to keep champagne glasses cold, and it has massage chairs so you can relax after a long day in the studio while your driver whips you around. Kodak has a lot of classic cars in his collection, but he needed the Rolls for pure luxury. Kobe Tesla Model X Driving a Tesla doesn't give you the same kind of clout as supercars, but Kodak took his Model X to the next level with a custom Kobe Bryant rap. Back in 2021, he hopped on social media to show it off, and it's definitely one of the most unique whips in his collection. When Yak turned 24, he threw himself a Kobe-themed birthday party and bought the Tesla. The purple wrap makes it stand out, but the gold rims he threw on it make it pop even more. He posted pics to Instagram showing him wearing a Kobe jersey next to the Tesla, and fans thought the whip was cool, but Kodak got called out for posing next to a helicopter too. A lot of people thought showing off a helicopter while he's talking about Kobe Bryant was disrespectful, but Yak hopped on Instagram later and said, You know, I want to send all my love to the Bryant family. I come as humble as ever when I say that I feel so connected to Kobe's unfortunate demise. Snap. When I was in prison, I was planning on coming home on a helicopter. But January 26th, when I found out, you know, about what happened, I took it as a sign not to, you know, due to the fact that we share the same initials. Yak dropped at least 150K on the Tesla, but it was obviously worth it to him to honor one of his heroes. Mercedes Maybach GLS 600. You can't be a famous rapper and not have at least one Maybach in your collection. Everyone from Kanye to Rick Ross raps about them, and Kodak has one of the coolest Maybachs in the game. Basically, every celebrity in the world wants to spend the block in the GLS 600 because of how rare they are. But like everyone else, Yak took it to another level by wrapping his in a crazy orange color. No one knows exactly how much he spent on the Maybach for sure, but it's easily worth a cool half a mil. Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon Jeeps aren't that special, but Kodak is. Jeeps are built for off-roading, but Kodak had his customized for the streets instead. Of course, he has a rapid orange, but he also threw on some custom tires and lifted it. Yak probably doesn't plan on hitting the trails, but he still had a custom front bumper with a winch installed just because. When you got money like Yak, you get what you want. With all the work on the Jeep, it's worth around $100,000. Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Kodak likes staying in the latest, but he got love for classics too. One of his favorite cars in the collection is his 1988 Cutlass Supreme. Yak only had to drop two grand on the Cutlass at first. Then he went wild and spent over 100k modeling it out. We all know he likes orange, so it's no surprise he wrapped it and threw on some gold rims too. Oldsmobiles aren't as cool as his other whips, but this next one is definitely a must for all rappers. Lamborghini Urus When Kodak wants to flex, he opts in his green Lamborghini Urus. It's one of the most powerful SUVs in the world, it can go from 0 to 60 in just 3.1 seconds. Yak's Lambo is completely custom with gold wheels and brown interior, so it ended up costing him around $350,000. But according to rumors, he's bringing in six figures every show, so dropping a few hundred racks on a custom Lambo isn't going to hurt the bank. Flexing in a bright green Lambo might not be the best move when you got ops in your city. Last year, Kodak was in the Urus with his security team when they started getting followed by some dudes in another car. Yak wanted McDonald's even though the situation was sketchy, so they pulled in and the security team tried to block the entrance with another car. Kodak's team wanted him to stay inside the whip while they got his food, but he wasn't trying to hide and got out by himself. A few seconds later, the car that was following them before came back and pulled into the McDonald's. The other car ended up leaving immediately, but then they circled back around and started letting off shots. One of Kodak's security guards got hit in the leg and had to get surgery, but luckily, no one else was hit. Kodak's green Lambo might make him a target, but he's obviously not afraid of the ops. 1970 Chevy Dump Custom Lambos are dope, but you gotta respect the classics. After Kodak got shot in the leg back in February, a YouTuber named Steve Will Do It made his recovery a lot better after he gifted Yak his dream car, a tricked out 1970 Chevy Donk. If you don't know what a Donk is, it's pretty simple. Donk is a nickname for custom Chevy Caprices or Impalas from 1971 through 1976. They usually have huge, flashy wheels and are made to flex, but the whip Steve gave Yak is on a whole different level. Yak's Donk is bright red with 32 inch wheels, but the inside is even crazier. Kodak's used to having dope cars, but he was still shocked when Steve surprised him with this. Steve uploaded a video about the whole situation, and Kodak told him, Man, that shit crazy, bro. I'm lost for words. Z shit, brother. This shit beautiful. I don't know what to say. 
When Yak hopped in the driver's seat, he was shocked at how customized the car was. He said, shit got a TV in that mother man. Y'all snap, boy. What the f man? This shit crazy. I appreciate y'all, player. The whip allegedly cost Steve over 50K, but he said he just wanted to give Yak a post-gunshot present because he's a big fan of his music. Nobody wants to get shot, but getting your dream car for free probably makes it a little better. Corvette C7. Yak loves his American classics, but he rocks with the new ones too. His ice white Corvette C7 proves he got good taste whether the whip is old or new. He didn't even do any crazy mods to this one because driving his stock is still a flex. The vet cost him around 100k, but Kodak showed just how much money he's willing to throw around on vets when he gives it his cousin the Corvette Stingray back in June. Yak had just celebrated his 25th birthday, but instead of balling out on himself, he decided to spread the wealth and shock his cousin with a new whip. Yak uploaded a video of him giving away the car to Instagram and let everyone know how important his cousin is to him. He captioned the video and said, Cuz always believed in a nigga off top. Kept me with all the new Jordans, elementary and middle school. Had me out here with you. Let me see what the trap about, and I fell in love with red bones through you. I'm skipping school in elementary, rapping in the trap. Y'all boys got me in the club, young When I jumped out head first, you didn't even hold my hand. But you did like me in boxing though. You and mono ass. Our history is our story though, cuz. It's always cool seeing rappers show love to the day ones they came up with. Kodak might be one of the biggest rappers in the game right now, but this proves that he hasn't forgotten about his roots. Rolls Royce Wraith. On the track Versatile 3, Kodak raps, uh, Kodak bought a Wraith, they said low Kodak bought a Wraith. And I keep the best Molly coming out of space. Scat Pack Array, I painted matte black today. A lot of artists rap about stuff they don't really own, but Yak wasn't fronting with this bar. He really has a Wraith, and back in January, he used it to flex on everyone like crazy. A while back, Kodak started matching his clothes to whatever whip he was driving that day. Then he went even harder when he matched his custom Rolls Royce Wraith to the private jet he was flying on. In January, Yak pulled up to the airport right next to a Gulfstream jet in his matching Wraith. Then after getting some picks for the gram, Kodak and his crew hopped in the jet and took off. The Wraith cost him a cool 350k. Back in 2017, Kodak hopped on the track My Dog with Lil Baby, Quavo, and Money Bag Yo and said, My little sniper said them be hating ever since you done made it. I don't know why, because I could have bought the Wraith, but I bought a new Mercedes. I just bought a new Mercedes, but I could have bought the Wraith. Now, Yak has the Mercedes, the Wraith, and way more whips that we don't even know about. Riding around in custom cars is a dream for a lot of people, but it's nothing when you're a superstar like Kodak. Kodak can nearly drive whatever car he wants. He doesn't have a jet yet, but it's probably going to come sooner or later. Kodak's only 25 right now and at the top of the game. If he stays in the booth and out of the streets, there's no telling how big he can get. Plus, it seems like he cops a new whip every week, so stay posted for updates.